Okay, here is your second and last video of this unit. We are doing quadratic jeopardy, which means this time I give you the graph and you give me the equation. Here's how it goes. This is your equation in vertex form. As a refresher, h and k are the vertex. Remember that the negative goes with the equation, not with the h. And the a value is what the step pattern from the parent function is being multiplied by. So let's start with your first example. Just write it again here. The equation is y equals a bracket x minus h squared plus k. So the very first thing you want to do is to figure out your vertex. So the vertex is right here at 2, negative 4, 2, negative 4. Remember that those values go in for the h and k. Now sometimes you get lucky and figuring out the a value is easy. I'll show you this example. If you go to find your first step, you go over 1, up 3. Now unfortunately we don't have another step we can figure out because if we go over 1 again we don't actually ever land on another point. So we can't figure out the next step but that's okay. We don't need to worry about it because your parent steps are 1, 3, 5, 7, etc. and these steps are 3, we don't really know the rest, but what number would you have to multiply the first step of 1 by to get 3? That means your a has to be equal to 3 because that's the only way that we would get the first step being able to be 3. So your a value is equal to 3. That goes in for the a value. So to determine your equation, it's y equals 3x minus 2 squared minus 4. Show you another one. Let's take a look at this. Let's find the vertex. Vertex is at 5, 0. So that's where your h and k are going to be. And let's look at the steps. So from your vertex, it's over 1, up half, over 1, up 1 and a half, over 1, up 2 and a half, over 1, up 3 and a half. So your normal parent steps are 1, 3, 5, 7, etc. And what are we multiplying that by to get 0 0.5, 1.5, 2.5, etc.? Well, in order to go from these numbers to these numbers, we have to be multiplying by 0 0.5. And if you cannot figure out how that number is, you just take this number and divide it by that. So 0 0.5 divided by 1 is 0 0.5. 1.5 1 .5 divided by 3 is 0 0.5. So that's your A value, 0 0.5. And to be honest, all you really need to have is that first value because it's whatever you multiply by 1 by to get that first step is what your A value is going to be. So that's 0 0.5 or 1 half. So your equation is y equals 1 half for a bracket x minus 5 squared, there's your h, and your k value is actually equal to 0, but you're going to write it as 1 half times x minus 5. So you're not going to write that 0. Anytime you get a 0, 
you do not include it in the equation. So I'd like you to pause the video and try this example here. So I'll pause now and check your answer after. Okay, welcome back. You want to check your answer here. Your vertex was at negative 1, 5. So remember when this goes into y equals a x minus h squared plus k. Since the h value is negative 1, you have x minus negative 1, so that's why it looks like x plus 1. Your k value is 5, and your a value is 2, because that's what you have to multiply your step pattern by to get oops, negative 2, negative 6. It's negative because we are going down. Now if you find this to be in a bit of a confusing way to find the a, there is another way that you could find the value of a, which is what we're going to do on the next page. And in a case like this, it's not exactly easy to find what that step pattern is. For instance, when we go over one, are we going up a third, are we going up a quarter, are we going up two fifths? It's not exactly sure what we're going up by. So if you cannot figure out what the step pattern is, you have to use this other method which I'm going to show you. It's a little bit longer, but it's definitely effective. It starts off the same way. You find the vertex, which is at 3, negative 4. What I want you to do is to substitute that into the equation but just leave the a as a for now. So we have substituted in the h, we have substituted in the k, but we have left the a alone. In order to figure out the a, what you need is some other point other than the vertex. So there will always be another point marked for you. So here's one at 8, 1. So another point is at 8, 1. What you're going to do is you're going to substitute the 8 in for x and the y in for 1 and then solve for a. So the 1 is going to go in for the y, the 8 is going to go in for the x, So all we've done is the x became 8, the y became 1 because that was our extra point. Now you follow bed mass as much as you can and this is going to allow us to figure out what the a value is. So in bed mass the first thing is the brackets. 8 minus 3 is 5. Exponents 5 squared is 25. Now that's about as much bed mass as you can do because this is a times 25 which is the same as 25a and these are not like terms so you cannot do anything with these. You cannot make this 21a. So a times 25 is the same as 25 times a. So now what we do is use our equation solving skills. So add 4 to both sides. That's 5 equals 25a. And divide both sides by 25. So a is 5 over 25. And in lowest terms, that's 1 over 5. And as you can see here, there's no way we could have figured that out just by looking. So our equation is 1 over 5, leave it as a fraction, x minus 3 squared minus 4. So if you don't like the method from the previous page, or if you can't easily use the step pattern to determine the a value, you have to use this extra point and use this method to solve for the a. Sometimes you get the same question 
but you just don't have the graph. So this is the same thing. We know the vertex, we know another point. Just like this question. We knew the vertex, we knew another point. So the method exactly the same. We're going to substitute the 4 in for the H and the 2 in for the K and we're going to leave the A as A for now. So leave the A. The H is 4. The K is negative 2. So now we're going to take the 7 and substitute that in for the X. We're going to take the 1 and substitute it in for the Y. and we have to solve this equation for A. Start with bed mass as much as you can. Brackets, 7 minus 4 is 3. Exponents, 3 squared is 9. Nothing else that you can do. So now equation solving. Add 2 to both sides. and then divide both sides by 9. So A is 3 over 9, which is 1 third in lowest terms. So your equation is 1 third x minus 4 plus 2. Okay, so what you're going to do is you are going to try this example the exact same way as this. Pause the video, try the example, play the video to check your answer. So pause now, please. Okay, let's check our answers. So your H and K values were 2, and because the K was equal to 0, you don't actually have to write it there at all. If you wrote it, during the process it's okay to write the zero, just in your final answer you wouldn't write the zero. So substitute zero in for x, negative two in for y, zero in for x, negative two in for y, bed mass, so brackets, exponent, you don't have to add this number to both sides or subtract this number to both sides because it was zero, so just divide by four, put your fraction in lowest terms, and there's your final answer. So as usual, if there's anything that you would like to ask your teacher t the next day, please put a note of it in the margin and ask him or her the next day. And I hope you now learned how to create the equations of parabolas. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.